Okay, now we have the modified seatbelt alarm circuit. This statement that um, this circuit goes by is when the door is open and the key is in the ignition, the buzzer will go off, or when the key is in the ignition and the seatbelt is not buckle buckled, the door will go off. And just to define the binary um, inputs for each component, when the door is at zero, the door is open. When the door is at one, it's closed. When the key is at zero, it's not in the ignition. And when the key is at one, it's in the ignition. And when the seatbelt is at zero, it's not buckled. And when it's at one, it's buckled. And so going through the eight permutations of this combination circuit, we first have when the key, when the seatbelt door and key are all at zero, which means that the door is open, the key's not the, in the ignition, and the seatbelt's not buckled, the buzzer will not go off. Then we have when the when we have the door is open, the key's not in the ignition, but the seatbelt is buckled, it still won't go off. Next we have when the door is open, the key is in the ignition, and the seatbelt is not buckled. Then the buzzer will go off. Next we have when the key is in the ignition, when oh when the door is open and the seatbelt is buckled. And this will cause the buzzer to go off. Next we have when the door is closed the key is in the is not in the ignition and the seatbelt is unbuckled and it won't go off and next we have when the door is um, closed when the key's not in the ignition but the seatbelt is buckled and it still won't go off and next we have the door is closed the keys in the ignition and the seatbelt is unbuckled and this causes a buzzer to go off. Then lastly, we have the doors closed, the keys in the ignition, and the seat belt is buckled, and the buzzer will not go off. And this just shows that it requires the key to be in the ignition for any of the permutations to have an output of one, which is when the buzzer goes off.